Hello there once again and welcome back to the kitchen. Today I have a teardown for you. And no, we're not doing this in 4K. I want to do this handheld and my big 4K camera is just too heavy for that. So I have this little Panasonic HD camera, which I actually just got yesterday. I've already done some test recordings with it and they turn out nice, so we'll see how this one goes. So a couple of days ago I was leaving my apartment and while I was waiting for the elevator I noticed that someone had dumped a bunch of stuff into the stairs, which they were not supposed to do, but anyway, I went and had a look and among the stuff was this, these two items. In this video we're gonna start tearing down the upper one of the two. This is the LabTech Pulse 385 multimedia speaker so LabTech is a low-budget division of Logitech. They were selling all sorts of computer peripherals, low-budget computer peripherals, such as speaker systems, mice, keyboards, and the like. And uh, so we take a look at uh, this thing. This is where it plugs into the computer, obviously, then feeds into this hideously disgusting remote control. This is dirty as hell got a volume control which I'm not even going to touch and then a power button right there and from that it goes into this thing and right there is where the satellite speakers would hook up using a three and a half millimeter stereo mini plug I assume power cord is going into the trash because as you can see this thing uh, well this is not going to be safe anymore I guess you're all going to agree then right here we have this port, which <laughs> apparently uh, there, there is hot air blowing out of that, so uh, oh, that's kind of funny. So we look at the front, as you can see, grey speaker cloth, rather dirty, it's falling off. Oh, there is a LabTech label right there. So, uh, well, there you can kind of see the speaker. As you can see, it's all pushed in, so that's probably not going to work anymore. Anyway, let's uh, see if we can break into this thing. Let me get out the tools. I got the plastic taken out, and as you can see through the hole, we have the speaker magnet down in there. We have some heat shrink tubing. This is uh, either just some uh, insulation for some joints, I certainly hope there is a fuse in there. Um, we have the transformer. This is the secondary coming out. Transformer. Uh, you can't really see it. It's held in place by these two screws. And then we have the tiniest amount of uh, damping material hiding down in there. There is of course the AC input. This might actually be the only good part of this whole thing. Where are the electronics, you're wondering? Well, <laughs> I tell you, get ready to laugh about a joke. And no, I'm not going to tell you a joke. I'm going to show you a joke. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. <laughs> this, is, this is not even held together with screws. It's all hot glued into there, as you can see. You got this uh, weird looking heat sink and uh, as you can see that can actually vent out as indicated by the hot air symbol right there. But this is absolutely ridiculous. I think I've, I think I've never seen a PC speaker system that was more pathetic than this. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna look at that in a few moments. Let's uh, first go ahead and uh, take this thing apart a bit further. I removed the plastic front, I removed the speaker. That's looking kind of sad. As we now look into this, as you can see, we got the transformer right there. We got the power input right there, and then that, I assume, is a fuse in there. And that's all there is in there. And unfortunately, I can't really get these nuts out because uh, they are all glued in place and I can't reach them with my tools. So, I guess 
that thing is just going to go into the trash. And here we have the electronics. As you can see, this would have run presumably of 12 volts. We got some tiny little rectifier diodes down there. 2200 microfarad, a 25 volt no name filter capacitor. I will have to be fair, there was one screw holding this all together. This one on the speaker output jack for the satellite speakers. There are two amplifier chips on this. Both of them had heat sinks on them. I took them off. Uh, this one had one that was actually soldered on. This one just screwed in place. Uh, this chip down here, this is a TA8227PL. This is running of uh, voltages between 9 and 12 volts and it delivers 2.5 watts into a 4 ohm load stereo, so that is what would have driven your satellite speakers. Not a whole lot of power, 2.5 watts. <laughs> and that is at 10% total harmonic distortion, so that would have sounded absolutely awful. Uh, then around the corner we have a part, this is about as Chinese as it possibly gets, and uh, I wonder if we can get some of the labels on this. Not really. But this was made by a Chinese producer, it is a CD6282CS, and even the data sheet is only available in Chinese. Now, I was able to find out that this apparently is exactly the same thing as a KIA6282, and that is a 4.6 watts into 4 ohm stereo amplifier running at 12 volts once again, so this is configured in a bridge configuration, so uh, the subwoofer would have run with a maximum output power of well, I guess a little over 9 watts. Once again, at a pretty considerable total harmonic distortion. The data sheet, once again, the 4.6 watts into 4 ohms times 2 were rated at 10% harmonic distortion. So, not good. There is one little semiconductor on this. It's a little S9012 transistor down there. It is a... Uh, multi-purpose PNP transistor, just a standard little thing. I'm guessing they use that to uh, switch this in and out of the standby mode. This must have had some sort of a standby mode in both chips because, of course, it had the power switch in that remote control thing, but the main power input uh, just runs uh, straight into the circuit, so there is no real switching in this at least from what I can tell. So, that's the electronic side of things, and uh, this is certainly nothing special. <laughs> and this is going back into the trash as well. And then, last but not least, we have the subwoofer speaker. This is a 4 ohm speaker, unknown wattage. And that's the end of that thing. So, thank you for watching. And see you again soon.